What's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of The Body Beatdown with me, Michael, your incredible host. Well, we are out of school today. We had a, uh, a day off because of inclement weather conditions. We've had kind of a icy mixture of rain. It's mostly been rain and it's still raining right now. <clears throat> Now, there has been some ice. You can see the trees are a little bit white. If I can get the camera over there, which I probably can't. No, probably not. Anyway, sorry for all the camera movement there, but you know, hey, we're doing stuff. Uh, so yeah, the power's been off and on a couple times and uh, so anyway, yeah, they called school off and everything else is called off. So I wouldn't doubt we don't have school tomorrow. I don't know. Probably. I don't know. It depends on what the temperatures do. It's really just, it's really just rain. So anyway, enough with all that foolishness. Uh, today is shoulder day. Ooh, I'm not looking forward to it, guys. Why? Why, Mr. Michael? Why are you not looking forward to it? Well, because on shoulder day, I tend to strain my neck all the time, on this side mostly. Now, uh, I don't know if that has to do with just my bad neck or bad back or what, but it strains a lot. And then I'm moving for the next week or two, like, you know, uh, like that. How? I'm moving like this. Like that. That's how I'm moving. So, I don't look forward to shoulder day too much. I'm thinking of just going light today and just doing like high volume, you know, like a lot of reps, a lot of sets, and just kind of using lighter weight. That's what I'm thinking. And uh, I might bring you along for some of it. We're not going to film much, but we'll get a little bit of a video just to give you something to look at, maybe motivate you a little bit in hopes that uh, you'll get your workout done as well. So, uh, and if you know me, you know what I do every day. I don't, I didn't get a chance to go for my daily walk today because of all the rain. Now I have walked in the rain plenty of times, but this is a little different, pretty cold out and it's rain and icy and you know, stuff like that. So I'm not gonna go out there and walk in it. I have done uh, my bike, I did spin on the bike. And I may end up having to spin two times. So I have a treadmill, uh, but I got it free off Marketplace. And uh, it was free for a reason. It starts and stops. It's not the greatest thing in the world, so I don't really use it. Eventually, sometime this year in 2022, I am going to get a new treadmill. Or new-ish, you know. So I'll find one that's not free. So let's go ahead and get on the arms. Uh, arms. Let's go ahead and get on the shoulders today. I think I'm gonna start out with some easy bar presses. And uh, we're gonna go kind of light starting out and we'll just see where it goes. Uh, I'd rather go light today, but we'll see. All right, let's do this. Now, uh, we're gonna start off with some light presses here, some 50 pounds, we got 25 on each side. You're gonna notice that I do it a little unorthodox. What does that mean? Well, I use an easy curl bar. I don't have like a, a shorter Olympic bar or I don't have like a bunch of, you know, standard one inch bars with plates and I don't have, <clears throat> you know, I'm not using a seven foot Olympic bar or six foot or this foot or that foot. I, I use an easy curl bar. Eventually I'm gonna get another bar, you know, a smaller Olympic type bar and a couple of other bars that I'm looking at too. So, oh, and normally I have my hands wrapped and my gloves on and all that, but I didn't do that for some reason. Woo, this already feels heavy, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
All right, we're gonna do another set or two of those just to get nice and warmed up and then I might go up a little bit, all right? Stick around guys and you better work out. Get in there and work out. Now we're up to my max, most likely. 160 on the bar plus the bar. That's two 35s on each side, a 10 on each side, and then the bar is roughly 15 pounds. So, Good enough. Stick around. I put a five on each end. That comes up to 170 <coughs> plus the bar. If I can get one rep of this, I'll be happy. Even if it's not a pretty rep. Good news is, I just kicked butt. Bad news is, I felt my neck on this side. Dang it. <sighs> All right, guys, I just got done with standing easy bar shoulder presses. Uh, let's touch on the neck issue. Because some of you are probably thinking, Michael, maybe you shouldn't do that exercise, or maybe you shouldn't go up so heavy. And you can argue about that all day long. Uh, things are gonna happen. When you have problems with your body like I have anyways with my neck and my back and shoulders and everything, it's just part of the game. It's part of your everyday struggle. And you either fight through it and just keep going, or you stop doing it all together. There is no in between. Now, no, I didn't have to go up heavy, and I think that 170 plus the bar is a PR for me, uh, especially starting back, uh, since I started back working out over the past, you know, year, uh, almost a year. I think that was a PR, maybe. Uh, that's important. You have to have a goal. Now, my goal is not to be as strong and all that and big as I used to be back when I worked out before. Those were different times and I was over 10 years younger. So, you know, I just have to work through things. And almost every single day uh, that I have shoulder day, I throw my neck out. And it, it happens so quick, there's no getting around it. Like on the 170 or whatever it was I just did, right? As soon as I went up, I felt the strain right here, boom. And you feel it the first, very first rep, it's already out. You might as well push on through to whatever rep you can do. That's my feelings on it. That's how I go about it. I'm gonna be sore anyway. I might as well be sore and be happy with what I did and make it worth the pain. So that's my feelings on it. That's my theory on it. Everybody's different. Uh, you might be like, Oh my God, I'd never do it again. I'd just go sit down in my recliner and suck on a bag of Doritos. So that's not me. That's not how I do it. 
and uh, we're all different. So uh, yeah, I had a pretty good workout. I'm happy with it. Uh, I, I, I believe I got a PR on my standing easy bar press along with a little crick in my neck. So that's just the way it goes as far as my neck goes. Um, now, uh, let's talk about a couple of the movements uh, real quick. The standing easy bar press, you want to, for me personally, you want to try and keep a, a narrow stance, keep your feet inside your shoulders, and uh, make sure you have a, a, a consciousness, awareness of how your body is whenever you bend over to pick that weight up and snatch it up. And uh, make sure that you know your body and know what you're feeling because uh, it, doing stuff like that can uh, quickly hurt you. Now I knew uh, whenever I went up heavy like that, I knew I was going to throw out my neck. I've been not looking forward to it all day. So uh, I knew it was going to happen and that's just a part of the game that I have to deal with. Uh, as far as the dumbbell shoulder presses, of course I did them sitting down. And uh, oh, on the easy bar presses or barbell presses, whatever you want to do, uh, your grip can vary. Uh, once I start getting a little heavier, I come in just a little bit on that uh, easy bar where, the, where it starts to curl. I grab there instead of further out because it puts a little less uh, tension on the shoulders that I have a problem with already. So I come in with my grip just a bit. Now onto the dumbbells. Uh, pretty simple. You want to mix barbell and dumbbell and cable and, and machines and all that. You want to mix everything together so you get the best of all the worlds. They're all good, they're all useful, and they're all a tool for the game. And don't let anyone tell you different, okay? So with the dumbbells, what I do, and especially uh, since I have the injuries, you know, to my muscle, to my, you know, I have tendonitis or tennis elbow, I got something going on in both my arms, plus my shoulders are screwed up, so. But this will go for you even if you don't have any problems. Make sure you kick that weight up and keep the weights inside close to you even tuck your elbow when you t when you kick it up tuck your elbow in just a hair so it's against your body you're not out here kicking it up that creates this and can cause problems keep them elbows tucked in kick them up like that and you got a good solid foundation straight up and down your elbows against your body and that weight's not going anywhere and that helps you to get a good start good momentum and a, a safer way to get them uh executed done get your movement done uh and of course on dumbbells you can do whatever you want you know your arms are free to move and you can kind of come up this way or that way or out further in closer all that good stuff just kind of feel it out and see what you feel good about now on the side lateral raises uh, there's a couple of different ways that you can do those again uh, when i'm standing i try to keep my feet inside my shoulders and keep a nice sturdy uh base and uh, I try to make sure my back is nice and locked how I want it. And I feel good about it. And uh, even when you're having to do some motion, mo you're going to always have motion when you do side lateral raises. Always. Unless you're doing five pounds. So make sure that you got that motion in control and uh, you're not doing anything excessive and stupid. And uh, some people bend their arms like so when they come up. And some people like to go more straight. I'm more on the theory of just keeping it bent just a little bit. A little bend in your arm. That way, I don't know, I feel like I'm stressing and straining maybe too much if I go out straight. Now I have incorporated both methods into my training before. And it's nothing new to do that, you know, to just kind of switch things up and you do something without even thinking about it. So but for the most part, if you watch me do side lateral raises, I always have a, a little bend. Uh, if you've ever seen these side lateral machines at your gym, or maybe you have one at home, you sit down and you get your arms against pads and you come up like this. So it's kind of basically what I'm doing with the dumbbell. So that's just kind of what I do. Um, try not to go too awful stupid heavy. When I was younger, I used to go s stupid heavy and I should not have. I didn't get hurt or anything, but I used to go really heavy. I'm talking like probably 60 pounds uh, side lateral raises. And they weren't pretty, of course, but you're putting on size and strength. You're not looking for pretty. So anyway, just a couple of uh, little tidbits of advice from someone uh, who's been there and done it. And uh, 
make sure to incorporate everything in the gym. Don't just stay locked into one thing and uh, don't let people brainwash you into thinking one piece of equipment ain't worth a toot and another one is, i.e. the Smith machine, which is amazing. I give them a 10 out of 10. Everything should be utilized in the gym to some degree. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got a little something out of it. Uh, I hope it helps you along the way. And I'm sorry I ramble on a lot, but hey, it's my channel and I can do that. So anyway, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to The Body Beatdown. I'm your incredible host, Michael, and we'll see you next time on The Body Beatdown. Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it. And go blast some shoulders, guys. We'll see you later. Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it.